Hi everybody, this is Boog S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new NECA Ultimate Chucky TV Series Holiday Chucky figure. So before we take a look at Chucky, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with a set of open hands. These have some nice blood splatter paint on them. That looks pretty cool. Up next, he comes with a set of clean gripping hands. Up next, he comes with a naughty list. This is actually done on real paper. I like how you can see Jake, Devin, and Lexi all naughty. And it's kind of tricky to get this into his hand since it is really thin paper, but it is manageable. I'm definitely going to uh, put this away because I'm afraid I'll bend it or get it ripped up. I bent it just a little bit to get it into both of his hands right here. Up next, he comes with a plate of cookies. And this is actually detailed really nicely. Looks like chocolate chip. So yeah, that's actually some really good detailing on that. Up next, he comes with a chocolate chip cookie with a bite taken out of it. This is an extremely tiny accessory. I've just about lost it a couple times during this review. Up next, he comes with a Chucky mug. And you can look on the inside and it actually looks like it has hot chocolate in it. That's some very nice detailing. Up next, he comes with a glass of milk, and this looks really nice as well, but he doesn't actually have any hands to hold it. The closest that I can think of would be this open hand, but as you can see, he can't actually grip it. So it is unfortunate that he doesn't actually come with a wide gripping hand so he can actually hold the milk here. Having him be able to hold the uh, cookie and the milk, that would look really cool. But yeah, we don't get any hands. I mean, unless you're brave enough to stretch one of these out, but I definitely don't want to do that. Up next, he comes with this clean kitchen knife. I think this looks really good. I want to say we've seen this used with another ultimate, maybe the previous Chucky figure. I do wish we would have gotten this clean version and a bloody one, since he does have blood all over him. Up next, he gets bloody accessory holding hands. These are the ones that I like to leave on the figure. Up next, he comes with this chainsaw, and this is detailed very nicely. NECA did a very awesome job on that. I like how the blades are painted in that nice shimmery silver. That looks really good. The bar up here feels very flimsy, though. When I try to get him holding it in both hands, which he can actually do, it feels like it's going to snap. The throttle right here did break. Let me take that out of his hands here. So you can see where that was, where it broke off, and you can see where he's scuffing the paint up there. It looks like the base coat is actually a dark gray color. So yeah, that is unfortunate that while he can hold it in both hands, this piece up here broke and he's scuffing it up pretty bad right there. Up next you get these clean safety glasses. Up next you get these bloody ones, and I love the bloody paint deco on those, and you can fit these on any of the head sculpts. Up next you get the standard head sculpt. And this is sculpted very nicely. I especially love the sculpt of the hair. NECA really did a good job on that. And all the details printed on his face there look very nice. Up next, you get his evil smile head sculpt. Another very awesome looking head. And I wanted to say, this is on the same body mold as the previous TV show Chucky figure. So if you have that figure, you can switch out any of the head sculpt on that one to this one, or vice versa. Up next, he comes with his bloody head sculpt, which is the head sculpt I prefer to leave on this figure. I like to leave the figure looking bloody with the hands and the head there. That looks really good. He has some really good sculpt detail as well here. You can see all of the individual teeth and the tongue, the way it's sculpted and painted on there. That looks very nice. Up next, you get his clean Santa hat. This has some really nice sculpt detail to the fur and some nice paint variation. I want to say that it's cast in a dark red color and the light red's painted over top of it, but it makes it look like there's some variation there, and that looks very cool. Of course, he comes with a blood-soaked version, and this one looks really good. You can see the white fur right here is completely soaked with blood, and the end of it has a little bit of bloody detail on it as well. That looks very awesome. And finally, he comes with his real fabric sweater, and this is such an awesome accessory. It looks very nice. All the snowflakes and the ho-ho-ho looks really good. Man, NECA did a really good job on this. The stitch work on it looks nice. You just have to put his arms through it, and then it attaches with Velcro back here, and that looks very nice. I think that might be how I'm going to leave the figure displayed. This just looks really nice. It's done very nicely. NECA did an incredible job on that. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the figure. So taking a look at the rest of this figure, this is just a reuse from the previous TV show Chucky figure, but this time it has blood paint all over, and I think the blood looks really good, especially where it soaked his top half right here, like the arms. You can see where there's some splatter down here on his forearms. They even painted some nice blood back here on the back. 
That looks really good. I do wish it would be all over the figure, though. It just stops right here. Like, you can see where the blood stops right here. I wish there would have been some more blood down here on his legs and on his shoes. I think that would have looked really good. Even though we don't get that, though, I do think the blood deco looks very nice. If you wanted to see a side-by-side -side of this new Chucky next to the previous one, here it is. You can see that the collars are slightly darker on this one, like his shoes. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but the shoes and the blues are just a little bit brighter on this old version, and they're a little bit darker on this new one. But all of the details are pretty much in the same spots, like the hard hat and the roller and stuff. The paint is cleaner on this one, though. Uh, the paint is just a little bit blurry on this older version. And yeah, I think it's a lot cleaner. Even though they're in slightly different spots, like it's just shifted a little bit, the paint is a lot cleaner on this one. And then there's the back of the figures. Not much more to go over. If you have this previous version, then you pretty much know what to expect from this one. I think I like this one better. Not only because you get a lot of fun accessories with him, but you get the nice bloody detailing on him. I just think that looks a lot better than this version. But I do think it's cool that you can switch parts between both of these since these do use the same body molds. So now let's go ahead and go over the articulation on this one. So he has a ball jointed neck that can look up very slightly. Uh, he can look down just a little bit. Since it is just a ball jointed neck, since his head and neck are one piece, it does limit the articulation. He can move his head side to side and all the way around very nicely though. He has shoulders that can move out that far. Though when you move it, you can see how the paint is chipped off the joint right here. It is cast in blue and that's very noticeable in that bloody paint. He has single jointed elbows that can only bend in that far. I do wish he could move in just a little bit more. He has a swivel thrust that can move side to side. And the up and down movement is really hindered. The pegs on this thing are very tiny. So I don't want to break them by trying to force them to move. He has a ball jointed waist that can move back and forth very slightly. And side to side slightly. He has hips that can do a complete split. But then you can see that this is wanting to tear a little bit this um, coverall piece. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend forcing that too much. He can kick forward. Oh, okay, I guess I already ripped it right there. You can see where it's kind of loose. So yeah, definitely be very careful with that. He can kick forward that far. He can kick back just a little bit. He has a slight swivel of the thigh. Single jointed knee that can actually bend back pretty nicely. He has swivel up here in the shin that can move side to side. Ankles that can move up just a little bit down just a little bit, and a decent ankle rocker. So now, let's do some size comparisons. So first up here he is next to the previous TV show Chucky figure, and I do like both for various reasons, but I think I like this holiday edition one just a little bit better than this one. Here he is next to the original Chucky Ultimate. Here he is next to the two Bride of Chucky, Chucky figures. One of these was the Walmart exclusive version, and one came in the two-pack with Tiffany. And I'm not sure which one is which, that's why I just put them in the same frame together. And finally, here he is next to Tiffany. So overall, I would highly recommend this because NECA did a fantastic job on this. And as I said, I actually think I like this version better than the previous TV show one. So hopefully you can find this because this is a very awesome figure. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.